I'm here with the Solid Dude Workbench once again, and I've got some new things to show you. Um, yeah, it just printed that, and um, I set it up with supports, but the supports didn't print. So <laughs> I don't know what happened. I guess I set it up wrong. I am using a slightly different program, um, but I wanted to show you this um, thing I'm printing, how well it printed, and also show you the new program in this video. I am using Cura. Yeah, Cura. Um, so, as you see there, Cura works pretty well with this thing. And I'm using Cura primarily because my computer kept crashing when it was trying to slice this in Repetier. And I don't know why. I, I think the version of Repetier, I don't think it had anything to do with the printer because I have another computer that I was able to use to print this. This is the bird feeder. Let me zoom out a little bit. This is the actual bird feeder I printed. 0.3 resolution. I printed this with another computer, and um, so you can kind of, if I can focus, you can kind of see the detail there. No cleanup or anything like that, of course. You can kind of see the detail there. Um, so this is 0.3 resolution solid infill, no changes to the Thingiverse file. It's got a little drain down there. That's where you put the bird seed. And this is the perch I'm printing right now. The perch would go right there. And I did print a couple versions of this. Okay, so I, I did have some mistakes. So, you know, I'm not getting perfect stuff starting out. I had this one and I had this one. So I've printed two of these antler perches. Um, the first one I printed was this one. And it I thought it did great until a certain point it got caught. And, and then it had spider webs everywhere. And the thing got knocked off, and it was a big mess. Um, actually, it wasn't too bad. But anyways, this works. Okay, this is interesting. Um, this design, you actually cut this part apart. You take this part out, and this is inside. And this part fits into this. So it actually clicks in place. Um, so you can kind of see there's a groove there where that fits in place and so you actually have to take a saw or something something to cut it with a, a knife or something and cut this cap off there's a there's a little bit of a a dashed area where you can actually take that apart so um, that's how that works or how that's designed and it's supposed to be designed with no supports needed and like I mentioned, I thought I added supports, but it didn't put the supports on, and it did, you know, pretty decent. Knowing there's no support there, if you can see that. So it was so complicated, I guess, to to slice this. Repetier kept crashing on this computer, and I think it's the computer. I know it's the computer because I tried to print this one time and it stopped halfway through and then I tried to print it a second time and it stopped halfway through again on this computer so I switched computers and I tried it on a different computer that I don't no normally have hooked up and it printed it perfect it took a while it took about 13 hours but it it did print it not didn't give me a half half feeder and so this one is running off this computer pretty good Cura has had no problems. Wanted to show you what my settings were for this. I just put it on there just to give it a shot, and it actually worked. So, um, layer height was 0 0.3, 0 0.3. I'm sorry, I hit backspace on that. Um, so, 0 0.3 for the layer height. And you see, Cura, as soon as you change something, it, it slices it instantly. So, I kind of don't really like that, but whatever. Um, shell thickness, 0.8. Um, and I really didn't change a whole lot on here. I just tried to copy my original Repetier settings. Bottom and top thickness, 0 0.6. Build date, Cindy, 100. Print speed, it's 45. I think I did slow that down. And Cura kind of tells you what to do as you hover over this, by the way. 
Um, I didn't pay attention to all that, but I did pay attention to some of it. But, uh, the bed temperature is really zero. So 210 for the print head thickness, I mean print head um, temperature, but my bed is really not at 80. Okay, I did set up the support, but it, like I say, it didn't do it for whatever reason. I thought it was going to do it, um, but it worked, so that's fine. Um, diameter... 1.75 and flow I just put it on 100% okay so I was guessing it seemed to work nozzle size under advanced nozzle size 0.4 speed 40 distance 2 and then all of this I did adjust and change it looks like it's finishing up here oh it is sweet well, there you go it's done sweet deal you can see the ends Okay, let me get through this Cura stuff. Um, I did change the print speed and everything. So, um, you can see my settings there. I, I did around 40 to 50 for each. 40 to 45 for, for all those. I basically copied these from, from what I had in Repetier, from what I had in Slicer, rather. Um, so, travel speed 40, um, 35, 45, 40, 45, 45. So, Somewhere around 40, 45 for speed seemed to work pretty good for me. Um, minimal layer time is three. Now going to plugins, I didn't change anything here. Um, no plugins. I didn't add any or take away any plugins. Start encode. I did paste in start code that I had pasted in the earlier video that I made, and so I'll post this. I'll just copy this code. Um, I added to the Cura code, and so I'll just copy this so you don't have to kind of pause this and copy it yourself. I'll copy this into the video description, and I'll copy the encode. I didn't really change the encode, um, but I'll copy that too. So that's all the same. So that's it. Um, I think I might have changed. Oh, yeah, I did add under machine. You got to add a new machine, and um, I'll just go to machine settings. It's already set this up. All you do here is set your your size. 300 by 300 by 300 is what I put. All right, and heated bed, check that, and that's good. Okay, click OK. I think that's all I did. So Cure is pretty easy to set up. It's step by step. Um, again, the solid doodle, solid print was not working for my Mac. My Mac will not recognize the um, the printer. Let me know if you got any questions, comments, whatever.